YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here back in Total War Attila. And um, ready to take on some more legendary campaign. Uh, good old Sextus here is ready for some more action in Britannia. Just took out some rebels and we're probably going to come back here garrison him up. So, and he's got some upgrades too. I thought we did this. We did do it earlier, I think, but must have saved or not saved whenever I exited the game because it had previously saved right before it. So, yeah, we're all set in Britannia for the next turn, uh, ready to take the fight back to our enemies again. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We've got... Um, Carthago, we were going to build this up into a wine trader. And then how are we doing for food here? We're at 130 on food. Got some growth coming so we can eventually get more to help support our growth. And we've got this building helping with the public order and the sanitation. Very positive on sanitation because we have two different places for sanitation facilities. So we are in very good shape uh, at Carthago. So should be nothing else to do there at the moment. Triplitania. What are we? 67 food here for now. We're about to capture more food. I'm going to go ahead, though. Even if we run in the minus for a little while, it shouldn't be a big deal. 5%. That goes up to 10% with the uh, library. We'll take it. And the maintenance cost we can afford. That's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. Um, I think... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to do right now. And I don't think there's anything just absolutely eating away at me that I really just have to have done. Got everything upgraded as far as we can go there for now. Uh, let's check some other provinces and just kind of see we got Britannia Superior, Britannia Inferior. Not much we can do about the state of order in this particular vicinity. We have minus two to sanitation here too. Oh well, I think we'll survive. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm kind of watching the temperatures. This is the first time I've run the campaign recording and having my... I have my processor overclocked. I went from 30... Uh, it was uh, 3.5 on my i7-4770K and I've run it up to 4.4. So I am checking the temps every now and then. But looking good. The hottest I'm running, you know, so far at least, was I think 74 Celsius. And that's with a pretty hefty overclock. And I can always back it up just a little bit if I need to. But I ran the benchmark on Attila, and at the same graphics level before I overclocked versus afterwards, I picked up 11 frames per second with the overclock. So it was a pretty big deal. Um, I basically had the settings to where I was getting just over 60, and I was up to like 72 or 73 frames a second whenever I ran the same benchmark after the overclock. So it definitely made an improvement to the frame rates, but also definitely heats up the temperature a little bit with the water cooler before i overclocked it i mean it was never going over 50 degrees um so overclocking it definitely i mean it's run a lot higher voltage like right now the cpu voltage is like 1.3 something which is that's a lot of voltage running through the uh the core compared to the standard which was like 1.18 or something so it's a lot of extra voltage and no wonder that it runs warmer but it looks like it's pretty stable so not seeing temperature spike or anything else. So pretty pretty happy. But this is going to be kind of the test. I'm just going to have to run it for a while. Um, but it's it definitely it gained me a 20% boost on like the 3D benchmarks or whatever that I was running, and it's pretty pretty sweet for the physics piece of it. Like obviously my my GPU, I haven't changed anything on it. I've thought about putting a, a mild overclock on it just to see what I can do, but not super worried about it at the moment because my GPU hasn't really been a bottleneck issue for me um let's see with this general probably just help him get the better replenishment what do we got here this veteran has ranked up open up assault unit sabotage walls would be good because you never know when that might come in handy if i really need to hit a place with a siege faster than usual that could be handy i had this fleet and i was going to come chase down these Garamontians, so I'm going to keep it heading that direction. 
I think I'm ready to end a turn. I do have some leftover money. Just, I mean, if I just really need to spend it somewhere. Magna Grecia. Let me see where... Italia, Lusitania. What about Lusitania? Yeah, looks like we got stuff going on here. So, Lusitania. What was I going to do with this one? We definitely need another farm here so that we can support uh, more upgrades with the food, like upgrading this municipum. So, got that. The question is whether or not I need this little iron spell. I do want the iron just in case I need the resources, so I'm going to have to keep it. I've got latrines here. I could probably swap that latrine out, though. Not that I really need the extra public order. But we could build a... Thinking about swapping the lat the latrines just maintenance cost though, so it's not really hurting anything. So I'm probably gonna leave it alone. There we go. We spent the rest of my money. We got one more, so my uh, emperor has leveled up. So let's see. Just gonna keep unlocking everything, so we can kind of work him down to this highest uh, upgrade level there. Okay, let's get into this. What's uh, Lindum is being attacked again by, looks like, the Abdonians. So I'm going to have to auto-resolve this one. There's really no victory for me here. At least nothing that I feel like wasting my time on, especially when uh, I think Appius is marching his way there. Yeah, you can see him in the background back here. So Appius will be there to, to right that wrong soon enough, so that'll be short-lived. Short-lived. Alright, let's see what else is going on here. It is in your eyes, in your stench. <laughs> I fear you. The last thing I fear right now is the Geats. Seriously, though. Really do not fear you. I come to ask this. Will you stand with us and show courage and honor? <laughs> I'm not going to be joining your war against the Gassinids. You can either defend yourself or die. That's pretty much your options there, I think. East Rome. West Rome has cared for itself. Shall we hack at each other until our enemies can gorge themselves on warrior's flesh? Or will it um, yes, actually, that sounds like a good idea. I like to gorge myself on warrior's flesh, come to think of it. It's actually kind of disgusting. I don't know what kind of twisted place you're from there, buddy. Ha! Sweet. Those uh, Abdonians that did the little raiding thing got chased down by the Maurians here, and Sextus is going to be able to help tag team them. So, there we go. I'm going to actually take on the warriors, see if that will help a little with the replenishment. Oh, no, you don't, Maurians. That's my city. The Maurians are trying hard to come up here and take some of my territory, and that is not going to happen. All right, settlement sacked. That shouldn't be the end of the world. Armenia was destroyed. Term of office is complete for some of these guys. Rebellion. Rebellion imminent. Okay, let's go in here and check our political situation. Um, I really want to keep putting these non-family members into this position to make them keep losing influence points. Like you. Looks like a good idea. Help you lose some of those 60 influence points. Same thing here with Mr. Lucius. He's already there, but we can make him lose a few more points, so... That'll help uh, keep their influence points in check. This guy, man, he's pretty, uh... This guy's pretty loyal here, man. He's, he's the Emperor's man. 
And it looks like Sextus and Appius both very fine on their loyalty for now, so no no big issues. Can we arrange any marriages? We sure can't. All these guys are already married, except for Quintus Varro, who is a admiral, and then this this guy here. I don't know that either one of these guys really strikes me as being particularly... Seleucius Marcellus has a decent rank, but he's 52 years old. Now this guy, Saturninus, has had some issues with his loyalty and stuff in the past. He's a governor, too, so he's pulling in some pretty good uh, influence, and this could be... This could be a good deal. Now, some of you wanted me to marry Appius into the family, and I, I would. I'd be happy to, but he's already married. I don't think there's any way for me to kill his wife or force him to divorce because he's not a family member. So I can't do that. Let's see. We got Lucius Marcellus as the master of soldiers. We got this guy here. Thinking... I want to marry in that governor. He's younger, and he's the governor of Africa, so he should be picking up some influence. Let's see if we can arrange that marriage. See what happens there. So let's head out of there. We've got a bunch of money again. My armies are busy training up to their full strength. So we'll have all of our armies back. Um, it is winter time yet again. And Appius is going to have to eat a little bit of winter attrition here to get to Sagontium. But easily taking it. And now this should stop the Ebdani from having any degree of success. In fact, we could sail, we could sail Appius across the, the way here over to whatever the name of that island is. Is that, is that island Eblana or I don't remember what it's called, but we're going to sail Hibernia. That's what it is, Hibernia. Um... Let's see, I'm just going to occupy the settlement for now. Okay, settlement occupied. The public order is just atrocious in this province right now. Because a lot of stuff is damaged. We have to repair that before we can tear it down. We can tear that down though. Let's repair that. Let's see, we've got good stuff headed here. Let's turn down the tavernet, let's build that. Thinking like the capital maybe. So I have a food trader. Let's throw that in. Let's go ahead and run all these upgrades here. And when we tear that down, we can have should be able to have plenty of agriculture and everything, even with the lower fertility, to support what we need. So I think we should be good. And like I said, we've got the uh, we've got the Abdonians blockaded at this point. So if their forces aren't ready already here, then there's not much they're going to be able to do. Sextus, he could venture forth, but I'm going to kind of wait um, till the next turn, and we'll move to Eldon or whatever that place is. So we'll just wait and then make our move up to there. And let's see, we got this priest who's ranked up. Let's do the inspired troops, which is probably what I was trying to get to. Okay. So we've spent a lot of our money as well. Let's go back down to Africa because I think we're ready to do some work here. And let's check things out. So these two armies should be ready to betray the Garamontians. I'm going to take no stance here. We're going to take a little bit of desert attrition out here. My guys should be on the road where they're not taking attrition, but I guess being on the road doesn't matter or not here. I wonder if we can get past these guys and just take out Sidemus. I think we can. Ready for battle. I'm going to declare war on the Garamontians. I'm not going to call my allies to help. None will I just don't want to risk having my allies turn against me. Um, so by not calling them, I think my puppet states are forced to join me. But the others uh, just don't get pulled into it. And then I don't have to worry about them getting upset about me dragging them into wars with people that they actually kind of like. And then they don't have to choose between me or them. That's why I do that. I don't really know if it's the 
perfect decision or whatever, but that's that's why I'm doing it. For all I know, it could have some adverse effect that I'm not aware of. Okay, that means this army um, could fall back. I'm actually thinking about attacking these guys. Is this a decent army? It is. It's definitely a decent army. We could attack these guys. I mean, they just have a ton of hurlers and mystery troops here. Thinking about attacking them and just trying to kill them now so they don't run around me and try and get to one of my settlements. It's not like this person here is someone that I'm like extremely fond of or something. So I'm not super worried about it. It's a bunch of legionary defectors and then just slingers. We can easily run down the slingers because they don't have any cavalry unless this is a cab unit right there, which it could be. But they don't have any cavalry, so to speak of. And my elite Palatina ought to uh, ought to deal with their infantry quite easily. Now the elite Palatina do not have the world's best block chance and stuff too. It was a cav unit that they had hidden there. Some of those units kind of have campaign map stealth as well. Start our deployments. Okay. We got Cataphractari on one flank, and I'll put my Gallic Equites on the other flank. Oh, Cataphractari. So much fun. All right. They are certainly not as heavily armored as like cataphract, uh, cataphracts and just like Rome 2, but they are still a uh, pretty decent medium shot cavalry. Okay, we got our general. Can't wait to get upgraded to the Comez general as well. That would certainly be handy. Let's go ahead and start the battle and move up on our enemies. I'm going to fast forward for a second. Just kind of get, get closer to the battle. Okay. I'm going to move up my troops just kind of ever so slowly. The enemy has reinforcements, which just means all their troops will be together, but I'm not real worried about all their troops. It's just a bunch of legionary defectors, which they, I think, are pretty much the equivalent of cohorts. Maybe a little better, but it's not going to be a substantial threat to my men. And I can use my, uh, I can use my Matiari to absorb the volleys off their uh, hurlers. In fact, I'm going to have to watch their uh, desert chieftain pretty closely because he may he may try to YOLO me okay and we've got this mercenary desert raider out there too which is a fairly light cavalry but still want to be aware of it I'm gonna go ahead and move up on my enemies here lots of legionary defectors lots and lots of legionary defectors Okay, we got inbound cavalry. Take them out. Take them out. I'm gonna run back with my Matiari. Let's get all my Matiari back. We got a few javelins off. AI is still getting its uh, troops set up, but they've charged me with a few troops. My Cataphractari should jack these guys up pretty good. Let's help my elite Palatina here. They got hammered by a desert raider, which that's a lot of damage for a desert raider. That's not a very good cavalry. Of course, elite Palatina have lower health um, than, say, like your typical... Wow, really? Their spearmen caused all this damage? Or maybe it's their... It could be missile fire. Okay, well this spear ought to hold all their units down. We can reinforce. Kind of seems like I should be breaking through their spears a lot easier than I am. 
Wow, good grief, what is wrecking me so bad? Seems like their uh, units are just absolutely wrecking my, uh, it's gotta be their skirmishers. Let's try and knock out this big blob with all my... Take these guys out real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and send one cavalry after him over here. The men are broken and running for their lives. Okay, where's my other Cataphrictari? I must have let it die somewhere. That's good. It's actually not good. I'm being... I'm gonna put these guys on skirmish and fire at will. Got the rear charge. That... Legionary Defector. Really? Am I, all my guys are going to die to Legionary Defectors. Yeah, I'm a little bit irritated by this, but it, it had to be their Hurlers or something. Because I did not expect their Legion... You know, what part of Skirmish are we struggling to under... Oh, I didn't put them on Skirmish. <laughs> it's like, what part of Skirmish don't we understand? Like, apparently the part where Air didn't put us on it. Okay, I've got a, a couple more infantry units, though. Still got this... Uh, chieftain that I'm a little bit concerned about and their uh, skirmishers are just picking apart my cavalry I don't really have enough left to win this that's annoying I, this kind of ticks me off I'm just going to concede defeat and let these guys have that I guess their uh, hurlers got a ton of kills they did they got an absurd number of kills I, I tend to forget these elite palatina don't do as well against missiles and because of the boost that the uh missile weapons get on the legendary setting they just ripped me apart each one of them had close to 100 kills so it's no surprise that my infantry faltered pretty easily that's irritating really is but oh well we'll have to deal with it that means that I can't underestimate the hurlers and that it would have been much better to have crossbows in this scenario now I can't get away from these guys with this army I'll try but um these guys are going to suffer pretty badly if we get attacked. I'll just hire in some mercenaries to try and bolster my numbers a little bit. If they try and retake Sidemus, I have no doubt that I can... Wheat farm and a sheep flock. I don't need the sheep flock. Let's tear that down. Let's actually uh, convert this to... We'll repair it and convert it over to cattle. I don't need the quarry. Let's tear that down. They've left this settlement unguarded as well, so we might as well hit it while they don't have it guarded. So we'll take Machamades. Sweet. So those guys are dead. I like it. All right, dead, dead, dead. And we can repair that so we can change it. I don't need a big military wharf like that. I have a garrison quarters here and here's an infantry barracks. And up here, I think we have a cavalry stable. So I'm thinking to maybe repair that and then convert it over to a skirmisher range. And let's repair that so we can convert it as well. What's the... Uh, Fertility here is only average, yeah, so we'll want to uh, probably use cattle herds. Here, I've got a library coming. Library. This should probably... I'm thinking, so we'll have that. We'll probably need... We've got extra food from the fishing jetties, and we can have a fishing jetty here as well. So we'll get plenty of food in this province thinking about let's tear that down and switch it over to the capital because then we can get some extra money and public order so yeah this is kind of frustrating I I should not have underestimated those hurlers and I should have charged their infantry sooner to get engaged so the hurlers just didn't sit there and shoot at me but not having my standard crossbow loadout army was apparently a mistake got these armies that are busy training up this one will be three turns and it'll be 20 out of 20 units I don't know that there's a whole lot else I can do in the winter time though yeah that, I'm still irritated about that I wish that I would have played better there I'm irritated at me more than I am the AI there because I could have played that better and I just did not 
I'm gonna chase down this. I should have waited to attack until I had that uh, transport fleet in my sights. Because now they could attack one of my settlements and I'll have to fight them off. I don't know what they'll do. I mean, they, they could attack, say, like, Hadramentum here. And uh, this is all we would have to defend it. Which, that's a pretty decent defense force. Be happy to take it. Let's see. So this is a governor who has leveled up. Um, we can go ahead and increase public order. And then eventually, yeah, more corruptions. Or less corruption. So that's good. A general... Increase the integrity of his force. And then we have another general. Increase his replenishment. I guess the melee defense is okay. No, another integrity there. Let's reset that. We'll give him the replenishment and then that integrity deal. He's going to be dead probably in the next turn in though when the Garamontians chase him down. I don't know what they'll do. I think they're going to chase him though and he's probably going to die because I don't think he can retreat. Which means I may need to send an army down from Italy to help out because we lost one of our legions there. Ah, there's a crossover point there. So the Abdani are not trapped. And those Caledonians, or Picts, came back over from Hibernia. So that's good to know. They are certainly not trapped over there if that's the case. <laughs> the Alamans are chasing off those rebels. Let's see, how am I doing for time? It's about time for me to end this episode, so I'm probably going to call it quits on this turn. Uh, didn't get as much done as I would like, but we got some stuff done, and it looks like they're going to threaten Carthage with that army. I don't think they're going to be capable of taking Carthage. And if I have an army with crossbows, we're definitely going to wreck these guys. I can't retreat, so unfortunately this army is going to be dead. I gave him some extra troops though, so hopefully they'll cause a few more casualties in the auto resolve. Not nearly as many as I would have liked. I guess I should have played it. Look at their hurlers. Just picking up all these kills. So the auto resolve is definitely liking those hurlers. And of course they did decent. Oh, look at this. Look, they think they're the big boys. They're going to turn around and come attack me down at Sidemus. Come on. Do it. Bring it. Let's see what you got, Garamantia. Let's see what you got. Is that the Huns moving up there just to the north of me? Could have been. <laughs> the Eastern Empire just got mopped up. Yeah, the Huns up there. Big bunch of stacks of Huns. Three Hun stacks up there. Ah, sweet. The Maurians made themselves useful and got rid of some of the rebels in my province. That was nice. Just stay away from my provinces, buddy. That's all I got to say. Britannia is mine. And that looks like it's going to be it for this turn end. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. I will be uh, back with more soon. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.